All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Today, we're going to be reacting to some of the things that some of these women were saying on the Whatever Podcast. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, so we'll be back, man. Sketch Pad, you know what it is. All right, man. Yeah, we back. Listen, you want to donate? It's right there. You know what I'm saying? Links in the description, too. So, hey, here it is, man. Whatever podcast. And this is a pretty interesting debate. So we're going to go through it and react, talk about it. So let's go. But it's weird. Why is it weird? She said it was weird. I don't know what she said. Why is it weird? Say what you want to say. I just feel like it's none of your business, like anyone's business to like know what anyone's body count is. Like, and quite frankly, like I wouldn't even want to know from another guy because then like if okay. it's a number I don't want to hear, like I'm not going to like you anymore. All right, well, maybe we'll come back. All right, so they basically talk about body count. So mm -hmm. they're basically saying it's weird for a guy to ask a woman her body count. I mean, how many guys she slept with? You know what I'm saying? He's saying she's saying it's weird. They're saying it's weird. Um, but we're gonna get into it. So let's keep it going. So that we'll continue yeah. going around the table. I want to get everybody's answers. Go ahead. No. You don't object to no. okay. I don't object. Yeah. Uh no, I think it's it's fair to you know, that for that to put you off. Um but I would also say that Maybe. Sweet Tooth, thank you for the gift of 20 memberships. Maybe. I would say that maybe uh, don't discount somebody because of that, because that's not, you know, necessarily. I mean, you could really miss out on somebody good who has a past that, you know, maybe doesn't align with your virtues, but also maybe they don't, maybe they've grown from that. And uh, so, yeah. I'd probably still discount them, but. Uh. <laughs> um, I don't object. Oh, okay. So just to bring it back, why is it weird? It's invasive. What's invasive? The whole body count phenomena. How, what do you mean? To like want Here, let me paint this. Let me give you a scenario. Life. Let me give you a scenario. Let's say the guy doesn't even ask. He just knows because you've been friends with, you know, maybe he's been in your social circle and he's known you for three years and he's known you've gone out to parties and bars. He's heard it through the grapevine that you've slept with 20 men in the past three years. Um, he doesn't ask you outright. Is it invasive then for the guy to not want to date you because you've slept with 20 men in the past three years? No, but I do think it's heavily judgmental. Let me stop it right there. So, this is what we get. So she's basically saying that it's not invasive for a guy to ask, but it's judgmental for him to know, which which makes no sense for her to say it's judgmental. Why would you say it's judgmental? The guy didn't even ask. He just knows that you slept with 20 guys. And the only reason why she said it's judgmental because she knows that a woman with a high body count, even if the guy don't say anything about it, she knows it's wrong. That's exactly why she said it's judgmental. Mm -hmm. He didn't even say that the guy criticized her about her body count. He basically just said he knows. And she said it's judgmental. How is it judgmental? He didn't even get to that point yet. No, I, I, I definitely, from, from where it started at all the way till now, I definitely get what's going on um me personally i don't i don't get her logic it's kind of weird you know what i mean uh if, if you ain't even get to that point and he already knows 
then you know what I mean, how is it invasive? He already knows your history because y'all in the same circle with one another. So how is that invasive? I don't know, man. She she she's thinking weird. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so let's keep going. It's heavily judgmental. So you object to judging people. Didn't you I, say I, earlier that you your your allowance, well not allowance, but not, you not allowance. you need a guy to spend five to ten thousand dollars on you a month? Whoa, I said whoa. that's the average amount whoa, I probably would have would wait, come to. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 You got to chill, sister. You need a guy to spend five to ten ten thousand dollars on you a month. And you talking about you're talking about people shouldn't ask somebody their body count. Come on, man. You're putting like like fun things like the average relationship expenses into play, but definitely not an allowance. Would you would you date a guy who works at McDonald's? No. So, so you're judging kind of him. Judgment is that. That's yeah. a judgment. No, you could have been missing I, out on like the best burger flipper ever, and you just pass him by. <laughs> How him. judgy. I just I I don't know. I think body counts between like ten to thirty in today's society is like normal. Honestly, let me ask a different question. I'm just curious about. That I think I'm late yo, on the car insurance. Good thing the general gives you a break when you need it. Yeah, with flexible payment options to keep you. Assume that's crazy for her to say. Ten to thirty guys is normal in society today. <laughs> 10 to 30 dicks in your mouth is normal. You got something? Because I'm going to keep it going. No, nah, keep it going. Right this second, you enter into this dating market. I don't know much about the dating market. I've been off it for a long time and thank God for that. Well, let's say you enter into it right now and you were a virgin. Would it be invasive if somebody asked you your body count then? Yes. I still wouldn't tell anybody because I feel like guys take advantage of women who have low sexual experience. How do they take advantage? How, how do, you do think, they take advantage? Do you think then that most women's answers when they answer that it's invasive or they don't like it or this type of things because they have themselves a high body count? Not necessarily. I don't even consider myself to be in that category. I just don't think it's any, it's a man's business. Like why, like what benefit do you gain knowing who I, I've slept with in the past? Like, so we can disqualify you from dating. Yeah, but I, I agree no with what she's saying that. too. Because sometimes ignorance is bliss. Like let's say hypothetically you meet Give the- Give me the red pill. <laughs> That's the blue pill. Okay, let's Ignorance say I want I want to know so I can make a determination of do I want to date this person yes or no. I don't want like I would want that information. That way I can make a determination. Yeah, but let's Do you see how like with females they have all these standards and they have all these different things that they have to uh, that that a man has to abide by. But the one thing they can't stand is when a man asks them how many guys they've been with because that lets the man know that you really not that special because either one or two things either you can't keep a man or you a whore one or the other mm -hmm. so if you sleeping with multiple men which girls do they have this it's this thing where they sleep with a lot of guys mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter it shouldn't matter because she was just searching and seeking out and looking to see and trying out. But see, men, we can't do that. I mean, we can, but we can't do that in their eyes. We can't. We can't sleep with multiple women to try something out. It's weird to them for us to have a high body count. But see, for them, it's okay to have a high body count because they're just testing the waters. Oh, it didn't work out. Oh, he was weird. Oh, he was this. Oh, he was that. And they'll sleep with multiple men. But then th at the same time is they don't want to tell the man that truly likes them. That they basically is just hopping on him, his dick, then go hop on another dick tomorrow.
because he might really like him. He might really be that guy. Mm-hmm. But once he finds out that she slept with 30 guys, he's not going to take her serious because you know why? He knows that she ain't going to take him serious. But see, women want to hide that. They want to hide that that from men and try to play this innocent this innocent role like they never did anything. But let's keep it going. Say in every single aspect of this one person, let's say you've been meeting people and it's never worked out with anyone and you meet this one person and they're absolutely perfect in every single aspect. And then but, except this one thing. But they have a body find, count of 100. you find out later. Okay, not 100, but you said what you consider high is 10. Let's say it's well, 20. Well, I'm using the extreme, like I'm using the extreme on both sides. So the extreme is this is the perfect woman. Butler donated $200. Thank you. Since one in three women aged 16 to 30 has a STD now, and condoms don't protect from genital <laughs> herpes, body count matters. Yep. Feminism uh, turned herpes, your lady yep. parts into a radioactive wasteland. I'm gonna go vomit <laughs> Radioactive. Now. By the way, here, let me drop the nuke. <laughs> Actually, Nick, could you click the nuke red? <laughs> click nuke red. Yeah, radioactive wasteland. There it is, folks. Look at that. Holy fuck. That's <laughs> that's what it's looking like. All right, Nick, you can I yeah, look. Okay. Um so to use an extreme on both ends, you're saying, well, the perfect woman, she's perfect in every way. She's a ten out of ten, she's blah, whatever. But here's the extreme on the other end, she has slept with over a hundred men. Yeah. That's a no. But wouldn't you rather just not know? Like you like just the- let me stop it right there. What the fuck is going on here? Would you rather not know that your girl, that you're trying to date and potentially be your girlfriend and maybe one day have a child or maybe one day get married or have a future together? You rather not know that she slept with over 100 guys? Wouldn't you rather not know? What? I can imagine if my girl slept with over a hundred men, right? And I go to a party with her and 50 of the guys are there. Yeah. Looking at me like, oh, this nigga don't even know. Me yeah, and my boy like- ran Trizzy on her. Yeah. And guys talk like that too. They they'll pull they'll pull aside. They be like, "Yo, they be like, yo, ain't that, Leo? Ain't that uh such and such? Damn, he with her? Oh, yo yo, you gotta talk to your man's. You gotta talk to your man's. Let your man's know, bro. I don't think he know. You know he don't I mean? know. It, that- <laughs> he don't know that he don't know that 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 she was on stage with a dick in her hand. He don't know. <laughs> kidding me come on man you want to keep her as this perfect no i want the truth Tro- truth uber alles well, let's just i want the truth well, let's just kind of let's just kind of grant it though you know what and say you, your preference is that you didn't know because for you right not knowing is a thing that you would prefer yeah because i, I, I don't say there would be really any care. problem though like, i honestly don't would you say there'd be any problem though for a person who did want to know they did want to know the truth maybe but, ignorance for, is bliss for you is true but maybe for another person ignorance is bliss not so true but like why do they want to know so badly and that with the thing with stds you, can you get want to be STD so ignorant test. so badly literally well, I, I, I just don't really care it's not that i want that so badly yeah. and if like my boyfriend came up to me and he's going to tell me his body count i'd like run away and close my right ears but and your everything. pushback is but ignorance is bliss it's like okay that's fair enough it's true maybe if you're ignorant about something um and you didn't have any foreknowledge to it you might go a certain way like okay maybe but if another person had the preference to not be ignorant on on the topic what what still would be the objection other than you just kind of think it's icky right that's really it when you get down to the the value judgment in other words aren't you guys really just saying i think it's icky i think it's yucky there's not really like, anything else no, to that. i mean it's like someone's privacy like their personal life like to me sex is something that's very intimate and it's is like it private. Well, well, yeah, it's intimate if you have a high body how is it how is it private and intimate if you have a high body count if you fuck with over 200 men how is that private and intimate You've been left that alone a long time ago. 
Yeah, ain't no private intimacy with that. That's a straight porn. That's a that's a porn right there. Look at these <laughs> girls fix their face to say that. Because again, they know that having a high body count and fucking with multiple men is wrong. They know that. They know it. Whether they say it's by society standards or by them saying it. They know it. They could pretend like they don't care or whatever, but they know that it's wrong for them to fuck with multiple men. They know that. That's why they keep saying, the only reason why these, they, they say, I don't want to be judged. No, you know it's wrong, so you want to hide it. That's why you say ignorance is bliss, because you want to hide it. You don't want people to find it out, but people are going to find that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, well, yeah, no, yeah. But I think sorry, I don't I think Izzy and I kind of see similar to this on on this particular topic because we're not using this as an excuse to be go pr promiscuous, you know, and sleep with a bunch of guys. I'm just saying I think it's rude for a man to ask a lady how many guys have you slept with. I recently not rude. I recently actually spoke to a guy about this and he I think him and I like kind of agreed on the standpoint like we don't need to know each other's body counts, but if you are in if we both are in an area and you see somebody that you slept with, do me the favor and let me know. And so, and, and we're in the same area, and I'll do the Wait same. Wait a minute, that right there tells people your body count. This is unbelievable. She literally just said that you shouldn't ask somebody that is ignorant and rude to ask somebody about their body count. But then she says she talked to a guy, and the guy said. If you are in a room with someone, at least let me know that you had sex with them. That right there is you telling them about your body count. Mm -hmm. Like, unbelievable. That's like, asking you your body count, just in a, in a different no, way. But it's, no, it's just like... If you slept with a dude, can you just point him out? That's not invasive, <laughs> but the but the alternative, but the alternative of asking you how many you slept no, with like, is too like, invasive. Like, like if I were for at, real, if we're like at a party or something. That's how that time no, works no, to me. No, just so they don't make a fool out of themselves, and the person is there, you know. But like to go out and ask for a number like that, that's just and wild. That's a, that's and I'll never give it to you. Just point out the person, right? It's like, what? Come this on. is actually a great reason why men ought to date women with low body counts. So the likelihood of you being in a scenario where you're in the same room as another man who's fucked your woman, you're just almost making our argument yeah, for us. Yeah, in fact, exactly. that's your debate. You're like, hey, I had a conversation uh, with a guy no and way. he was like, look, if you've been in a room with other dudes that you've been, no, can you point them out? That's literally asking you your body count. No, but stuff happens. Like sometimes you be like out at a party. It just happens. And, like, yeah, it just, happens. Who just happens and you're like, damn, like you know, that's. You stuff. know how it is. You're at a party sometimes and you're just hanging you out just and then in walking people, people you've slept yeah, with. That's how like, you what? Had sexual intercourse with at the party. <laughs> no, um, I'm twenty two. Okay. <laughs> it's Wait, if you I, have I, a small I, circle, like it's, it's it's sometimes you see people out. It's true. How many how many people in the small circle? <laughs> have you had sexual intercourse then? <laughs> God damn. Imagine like a college Enough to campus, point them out. <laughs> for example, like a college campus, like people in college be doing craziness. Like you That's bound, true. you bound to see somebody there. Like you should like, you know, like it's not like that. <laughs> Look. Uh, All right, man. Yeah, man. So in the end, you basically, uh, you basically telling people, for your benefit, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to, you don't want to embarrass yourself. And it, and and I'm telling you, that right there had nothing to do with the guy. It had nothing to do with the guy, because if she knows she has sex with three guys in there, and he says, well, "Just let me know who you had sex with," pointing them out. No, what it is is she don't want to be around some around the, the the whoever that she has sex with. Whether she has sex with five other guys or ten other guys in the room, she don't want to be around that. And she don't want to tell. She thinks it's rude for a man to ask a woman how many how many men have you slept with. How is that rude? You know I mean, I want if 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 I want to be cautious about myself, then why can't I ask you how many men you slept with? I should be able to ask you how many men you slept with. Mm hmm. Especially if you are 30 something years old and you single and got no kids. If you that, then you damn right I'm gonna ask you how many men you slept with. Because you could yeah. be a serial dater. 
You could be a person that just wants to get dinner and get fucked and then keep it going. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's it's just amazing to me how women, they, they give all of this reasoning for men not to do something, but they do the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Asking this man, asking, asking, uh, because I could guarantee you it wasn't him to ask her. She, it was probably her to ask him. She probably was like, "Well, if you had sex with somebody in here, just let me know." But she trying to make it seem like it was him. But but she made their argument for them. Basically, mm -hmm. you just you're admitting your body count right there. Because if it's three guys in here and you had sex with three guys, do you go? You just told me how many guys you had sex with. You can't yeah. make this up, man. This is crazy. Go ahead, bro. Man, I, I think the uh, I don't I don't want to say she's confused because it's obvious she knows what she's talking about because she just said she just basically admitted her body count without saying that's her body count. So it's obvious she knows what she's saying, but that I don't I don't see I don't see I don't see what the big deal is when you're asking. I feel like I should be able to know. If I, I don't. know if I know if I know you had a past, if I know you had a promiscuous past, and I'm coming into this relationship liking you and I wanna be with you, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you, then I need to know your history. I need to know. So then I can make that decision whether I wanna stay in this relationship or move on. You know what I mean? That's that's that that's that's how I feel. So for her to just go say it's rude to go ask, then she's not. I don't. She's not looking for no serious guy. She's not looking for no serious guy. She's just looking for somebody that's just going to hit hit the yams and keep it moving. That's what that's what she's looking for. She ain't looking for nothing else. I think I think I think you're right, but I also think that they want women want to have especially women like her, they want to have leverage over a guy. You know what I'm saying? So if the guy doesn't know her body count, then she can appear to be an angel and be innocent. And he can mm -hmm. look at her from that point of view. But what she's saying is, it's like you being judgmental. But that's a little bit different from me being a gangbanger. So if I'm a gangbanger and you say, whoa, and I'm in the streets all day and I'm busting guns and I'm a gangbanger. And you say, well, I can't date you because you're a gangbanger, right? That's different from you sleep with multiple men. Because either, even, even though they're both life or death situations, the sex thing is, is this is this is intimacy. This is love. This is something that potentially can go lead to another human being born. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. when it comes to gangbanging, it's a little bit different because it's not the same as intimacy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're saying, well, you, if you you being judgmental by being a, if 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 you say I'm a gangbanger, no, it's not that I'm being judgmental that you uh, are listening because I can probably accept that that you had sex with twenty guys. I might yeah. get a kick out of that. I might be like, yeah, everybody want my girl. You know what I'm saying? But the way she making it, she, the way she's filling it out and making it seem as if it's rude. And the only reason why she's saying it's rude because she know that that is a leverage piece that women hold over a man's head, that they are pure and, and not promiscuous. But once a man figures that, that you're like that, he automatically drops you a level. And they want to mm. be up here. They don't want to be down here. Yeah. They want to keep their, their angel status up here. But once they yeah. once, you, once the man find out that she slept with multiple men, it goes right down here. And now she's in a she's in a sex only category, or she's in a not to take serious category. They want to take advantage of that because they know that once a man know that you slept with this one girl was on here, and she slept said she slept with over three hundred men, and they asked her. They said, "Well, how is it that?" She said, "Well, there's somebody out there that'll take me serious," and he said. There's no man will take you serious. No real man will take you serious. I'm going to be mm -hmm. honest with y'all ladies. Listen, and this is for y'all Megan Thee Stallion fangirls that's in our comments. It's for y'all. If you slept with over 200 men 
Don't expect your man to take you serious. If he finds out, you're going to be in a sex category. You ain't going to find a guy of any substance that's serious. No man wants a woman who's been ran through over 200 times. No man wants a woman who's been ran through over 50 times. No man yeah. wants a... I'll be honest with y'all. No man wants a woman who's been ran through over 10 times. If, it, if you're 30 and you had sex with 10 guys throughout your life, okay, cool. But if you're 30 and you had sex with 50 guys in the past three years, yeah, nobody, nobody man wants that. No man wants that. So, but if you ain't got nothing else, I'm going to close this out. So. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree 110%. You know, like, it, it's, it's very unattractive to 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 know that at the same time i want to know i want to know because i want i want to be able to make that decision on whether i want to stay or bounce you know what i mean i don't want it i don't want that to be held over my head later if you run into like you know one of your old partners or whatever and then they talk about how they used to be with you i don't want i don't want that held over my head so yes i would want to know you know so all right. Hey, man, we out of here. See y'all. Peace, bye. Sketch pad. You know what it is.